You want me to put that on my todger? This one's wife. Tantrum. have it a tantrum there from this one's wife harry tried to intervene and offer her a hug but he was roundly told not to touch her yes another tantrum in monty's shit show this time there was no breaking of crockery but there you had the recorded feed of the incident but what has prompted this tantrum this time around well, according to something called CelebratingTheSoaps.com, no, me neither, Kate Middleton glows in Queen's Gems. This one's wife throws tantrum. The article comes from Joanne Iglash. As always, I leave it up to you to determine the veracity of the material. I provide you with a narcissistic interpretation. Royal Family News reveals Kate Middleton making a dramatic change in her style, and the Princess of Wales also proudly donned the late Queen Elizabeth's three-strand pearl necklace, a symbol that Kate will one day become a queen herself. But a new report reveals that this one's wife has fumed over seeing her rival Princess Kate looking better than ever. King Charles recently showed his affection and respect for Kate Middleton in approving her desire to wear the late Queen Elizabeth's three-strand pearl necklace. However, the necklace also symbolises Kate's ranking as a future queen herself, and in contrast to this one's wife, the Princess of Wales takes pride in working hard as a senior royal. But seeing pics of Kate wearing the royal gems made this one's wife both furious and jealous, you mean envious, and the Duchess of Sussex increasingly has become more of a spare to the royal family than her hubby Prince Harry. Does this one's wife really have any relevance to the royals at this point? As a result of the situation, one critic commented about this one's wife, Rough time to be the irrelevant one married to the bitter spare. And the commentator compared Kate's ranking as King Charles's beloved daughter-in-law to this one getting ignored or referred to only as that one. However, Princess Kate also has begun changing her style ahead of the new season of The Crown, and increasingly Kate has stepped out in power suits rather than coat dresses. But the Princess of Wales made the change to prep for an anticipated backlash from the Netflix show, said a source via page six. The royal drama will feature Meg Bellamy portraying the Princess of Wales, and an insider shared that Kate worries that her image will suffer. Kate's switching up her style in an effort to win people over, and also to get ahead of the beating how she feels her image will take when the Crown's new season debuts, revealed the source. But the Princess of Wales also wants people to see her as a strong leader, someone who's capable of taking the title of Queen into a new generation, said the insider. And that means donning power suits, such as a pinstriped Holland Cooper blazer, $669, and coordinating pants, $364. Royal expert Kinsey Schofield praised Kate for her glow-up into a sense of authority. And the royal expert noted that Kate resembles the late Princess Diana. After Diana cut her hair short, Inspired by Sharon Stone, we saw a lot of blazers too, pointed out the expert, 
the Fashion magazines all fawned over Diana's boss wardrobe and admired her professionalism. And Kinsey feels that the evolution in her style is directly associated with her position in the royal family changing. Her family is one step closer to the crown. She is expected to look more mature and regal, and Schofield admires Kate's new high street fashion. Meanwhile, this one's wife reportedly fumes that she doesn't get access to the royal jewels. And all she can hope for involves paying someone to make replicas. But the Duchess of Sussex lacks a way to borrow the royal gems like her rival Kate Middleton. And sources claim that this one's wife threw a massive tantrum about the wedding tiara. Queen Elizabeth chose which ones she would lend when this one's wife married Harry, but the one that this one's wife wanted was reserved for Eugenie. And that created problems for Harry who struggled with his belief that what this one's wife wants, this one's wife gets. However, this one's wife also wanted to wear a personal jewel owned by the Queen, and Elizabeth refused to lend it to her. As a result, some view the Duchess of Sussex as trashy. Well, Joanne Iglash there, making it very clear that she doesn't think much of this one's wife. As I've mentioned, the accuracy of this article I leave up to you, but would it be the case that this one's wife would have a tantrum over the way that the nemesis looks? Absolutely she would. She cannot stand the fact that Kate looks better than she does. She actually doesn't think that Kate looks better than her. She will think, for instance, that Kate is a plain Jane, that she will think, for instance, that her clothing doesn't suit her, that she's dowdy and uninteresting, because her narcissism tells her that. So how is it then that she gets worked up about what Kate wears and how she looks? She gets worked up as per the reaction that people have to what the Princess of Wales wears. Each time she's described as glamorous, elegant, regal, where her clothing choices are praised, where her behaviour is lauded, that infuriates this one's wife. Because she sees the Princess of Wales through the lens of being painted black, and therefore in the circumstances views her as all the things that I described earlier, and therefore she can't understand why anybody would praise her. Why do they say that she looks glamorous and elegant when she looks dowdy and uninteresting? doesn't make any sense. Once again, they praise her and they don't praise me because they're racist. Ever the victim. All skewed by the distortion field, of course, that is her narcissism that causes her to look upon the Princess of Wales and always criticise her and fail to see that the Princess of Wales does dress well, that she's glamorous and serene and elegant and regal, that causes her to believe that she dresses fantastically and she can't see the fact that she wears clothing that never fits and doesn't suit her. That is the nature of the distortion field that surrounds her, generated by her narcissism. And therefore she can't understand why Catherine gets the praise that she does and would result, therefore, in the tantrum as her ignited fury comes to the fore. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.